Howdy folks, in front of us we are looking at the URapid Flow Profile Manager. I've done several screencasts on using URapid Flow Pro. In this screencast, I am going to import product data. I have a CSV file open in Excel here that has been uploaded to my server. Inside the CSV file, I'm going to update a handful of attributes, those being the category IDs, short descriptions, descriptions, and names for this list of SKUs. So let's go ahead and get that ball rolling. I have several profiles here. Uh, I have three different pairs of import export profiles for each data type that you can deal with using Unergy's U Rapid Flow Pro, those data types being product data, category data, and fixed row data. Let's import product data. All right. Uh, in the profile information tab, you can see the basics, what the title of the profile is, the status of the profile, whether it's enabled or disabled, what it applies to, the store view. In my case, it applies to the admin. I create my profiles in a very broad sense because it's just easier for me to deal with if they're broad profiles that, that apply to many different situations. That way I can just keep it lean and only have six profiles rather than 600 for every different possible uh, circumstance. Uh, file name, that's going to be very important. I'm going to go ahead and update that right now. This is the name of the spreadsheet that we are looking at right here. That's the data that I'm going to update in Magento or import rather. Uh, profile status. Here we can see uh, a progress bar that indicates the status of the import as it's being run. Uh, and after, especially important on imports, as I've mentioned in the export screencasts, uh, after this import is run, I can view a report seeing where my problems were, uh, what has been updated, what has not been updated, that sort of thing. This is particularly useful, I'm going to jump ahead here, when you're doing a dry run. Now a dry run, as it says, just validates the data. When you execute a dry run, it's going to tell you uh, you're going to use this Excel report to see where your errors are. And you can catch them and update them or fix them before you import all the data into Magento. It's, it's quite handy. I, I regularly use that. In fact, I use it on every single data import I, I've ever done. Um, so. Let's keep going here. Remote server? No, I just use the standard directory, um, which comes out of the can with URapidFlow Pro, and that is in the var URapidFlow import directory from your root Magento install. Format options? That can be left as is. It's UTF-8, comma delimited. All good. As I said, I'm going to use the dry run. You should always use a dry run before doing a live import. Um, there's a couple other options here that I want to review quick, and that's allow changing product type and attribute set for existing products. I, by default, always make sure that this says no, because this is a relatively dangerous operation. If you can change an attribute set or a product type, that's a significant change in the Magenta world. So I'd recommend you leave that at no unless you're making uh, uh, an import, running an import that is specifically intended to, for instance, change an attribute set for a group of products, which we certainly do, or I certainly do. Um, it's just that I don't like to have that enabled by a default. And that highlights a, a more, a broader rule, which is to uh, configure your you rapid flow pro profiles in a way that is very restrictive and then open them up as you need so by restrictive i mean i cannot change a product type or an attribute set by default uh, i cannot update attribute values for drop down attributes um, or any attributes for that matter i leave that at no um, i've run into several circumstances where there's been um, minor differences in spreadsheets. For instance, if I were to allow an attribute value to be updated and I had a 20 horsepower motor and it literally the string of text said 20 space HP in lowercase versus 20 space HP in uppercase. If I had this set to yes, then I would essentially have duplicate attribute values that mean the same thing. 
I would have an attribute value for 20 HP in uppercase and 20 HP in lowercase. And nobody wants that. That's bad for user experience. That's bad for data standards. That's bad, 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 bad. Uh, so make your, uh, make your U rapid flow profiles relatively restrictive and save yourself the hassle of uh, screwing up. Reindex type, I do a full reindex after the import. Uh, that is because, like I said, all of my import profiles or all of my U rapid flow profiles are created in a relatively broad context. Import product data, export product data, import category data, et cetera, et cetera. So since the, the, the uh, uh, context is so broad, I don't know which indexes uh, or indices are going to need to be re-indexed after the import, so I just have them all set to uh, re-index. And you can see here in the re-index that I have added all the indices so that they all get re-indexed after the import is run. Import columns. Uh, if I want to specify default values, and this is typically done when I'm adding new products, uh, rather than having to specify a, uh, let's see, for instance, a status uh, of enabled on every SKU on a CSV file, I can just add this status and set it to the default value of enabled. And I don't even have to have that column in my spreadsheet. So that's really, really handy when you're adding a new product to Magento. In my case, I'm updating products that already exist in the database. So I don't need to worry about any of this here. Uh, we can just leave that uh, as is with nothing selected. Upload files. I've already uploaded my file. I do that uh, just by FTP. So reindex, we covered that. Profile configuration is JSON. Um, this comes in very handy when you have different Magento environments, say a uh, staging or a development environment, uh, that you want to copy a profile configuration for and not have to go through all of these various options and specify them, them again. I can just copy the snippet of JSON paste it in uh, the new profile configuration wizard when I'm creating a new profile and all of my options will be selected as, uh, as they were in the instance that I'm working off of. So that said, I have import columns, nothing has been added, import options, I'm running a dry run, profile information, I have my file name uploaded, now we can go ahead and save and run and test this out. That looks good, my friends. That looks real good. 55 rows were successfully imported uh, or successfully validated, I should say. Uh, and we are ready to toggle that flag and do a live run. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so that import has uh, been run. If I go to my index management, I can see that the uh, re-index jobs have kicked off and they're processing right now in the background. After those are done in a couple minutes, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my caches and we are set to go. Thanks for watching.